If you remember, in my last video, I did a full review of the Android 14 car stereo system. Well, today, we're taking it a step further. I'm going to dismantle the unit and explore what's inside. So stay with us. This is going to be interesting. Since this unit comes with a frame specifically designed for Ford vehicles, the first step is to separate the car stereo system from the frame. There are four screw nails securing it. Make sure to remove them carefully. Once detached, you'll see the stereo system on its own. But we're not done yet. There are four more sprues you'll need to remove before opening the casing. I'll take them out one by one. Be cautious here. Do not move the back frame. It doesn't have any supports connecting it to the front display. Now, once all four screws are removed, gently open the casing. Be very careful not to damage the flex cables inside. You'll notice three flex cables and one additional wire connection leading to the display. This small one is for the touchscreen. This is for the lighting system, and the large cable handles the display itself. The two-wire connector here is for the backlight. To separate the frame from the circuit board, you'll need to disconnect all these flex cables and connectors. Start by peeling off the tape, and then carefully detach each flex cable one by one. This one connects to the front panel. Next, gently release the display cable. Now carefully pop open the lock for the touch cable. Remember to note the direction each cable was connected to the main board. It's important for reassembly. And just like that, the display is now separated from the circuit. Now, this is the motherboard, and it's still attached to the back frame. If you want to remove the motherboard, you'll need to take out these four screw nails as well. Don't apply too much force. Just remove each screw gently, one by one. All of these screws are airtight, so it's important to remove all four to completely free the main board from the metal casing. Now that the screws are out, carefully lift the motherboard from the frame. Here it is, the main board. Let me give you a close-up look. You can see all the key components here. Large capacitors, coils, sound ICs, processors, memory chips, smaller capacitors, and resistors. This here is the heat sink covering the main chip. You've also got the auto chip, the ARM processor, and memory units. Right here is the sound IC, and this is the amplifier, the YD7388. It's quite similar to the TDA series amplifiers. Now, if we flip the board to the other side, you'll find the display IC, additional audio ICs, and RAM chip modules. This section is dedicated to wireless connectivity. You'll find the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modules here, along with the GPS IC. Interestingly, the layout of this board is quite similar to previous car stereo systems. And that wraps up the teardown of this Android 14 car stereo system. If you found this video helpful or interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be innovative and stay with Set and Fix.